I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Jackie Menendez. And I'm Marcelo Villarojito. Today is September 3rd, 2020, and Firebird TV starts now. County Public Schools has had a rough start to the school year this week as many students were unable to log on to their classes. Most were greeted with an error message and teachers were kicked out of their own classrooms. Although initially considered a technical problem, Superintendent Alberto Carvalho announced in a press conference that the student portal of servers were targeted by a cyber attack. Investigations are underway. The Centers for Disease Control has notified public health officials in all 50 states and five major cities to prepare to distribute a coronavirus vaccine as soon as late October or early November. Although very preliminary, the vaccine will be administered to healthcare professionals first, along with other essential workers and national security employees. Those at increased risk, such as the elderly and minorities, were also prioritized in the documents sent out. While COVID has caused many problems within our day-to-day -day life, as students were faced with the question, when is the right time to go back to school? Maria Gonzalez explores the controversy behind returning to a normal education. Back to school shopping season is finally here. Be prepared for all the materials your students will need as they head back to class. Back to school, COVID-19 came and left its impact throughout the world, and it's still here this school year will be nothing like the ones we've had before. With the new school year approaching and what seems to be a never-ending exponential increase in coronavirus cases, the plan of action for the new school year has become quite complicated. The virus is still spreading, and when you think it finally hit its peak, it gets worse. As of July, the CDC reported that the United States reaching a new count of over 4 billion cases, in comparison to other strongly affected countries such as Italy and France which have now been able to successfully contain the virus and go back to normal. With news of these daunting numbers, it has been quite evident that going back to normal school setting is not in our immediate future. Going virtual really is the best option. Many schools throughout the country have come up with various ways of adapting to the new conditions, implementing social distancing, sanitizing areas all around, going completely electronic, and a constant use of masks throughout the day. But even then, are students really safe from this contagious and deadly virus? Cases are up more than 140%. It is a known fact that children tend to get less infected and often have milder symptoms than adults. But on the off chance that they do become infected, while we bring the virus back home and are further spreading the respiratory sickness to older hosts that would experience more dire symptoms. So does the question still stand? Is allowing students to go back to school really the best idea during these times? We're only increasing the risk of the infection. Although the focus has been shifted to the pandemic, global warming remains a very real threat to our Earth. Doral Academy's very own Green Club has been making significant strides towards reducing our carbon footprint on the world. Here's Naomi Betancourt with more. Our world is not being taken care of. With pollution and climate change becoming a growing issue worldwide and ecosystems and species dying right before our eyes. Celeste Delgado, Green Club President at Doral Academy, gives us an insight on how she has been taking matters into her very own hands. I've always had a passion for the environment, but it wasn't until sophomore year where I joined the Capstone program and I did a 2000 research paper, 2000 word research paper on plastic pollution in foreign countries and seeing those statistics and seeing the devastating facts that is unknown to most you know, students at Doral because we're not really educated upon those topics. It's not really a subject that can allow us to learn. 
So I felt like me doing my own research, I really understood the impact that we have on the environment, especially when we don't take precautions. This past year through Green Club, we were able to attend a summit which allowed us to be educated upon topics that are very important, I feel like to our society especially, so we know how to approach the issues, um, you know, harming our environment. And we wanted to implement something that would have a big impact with all the students and all the students can have the opportunity to participate in. So we thought what we waste the most in the cafeteria and we felt like changing the styrofoam trays to biodegradable plates would be very beneficial because styrofoam takes a long time to decompose as opposed to biodegradable plates so definitely implementing that first would allow us to have a very minimal change but big in a long aspect and we continued on the year and we come up, came up with the idea of having a recycling program because we, with the abundance of students that are at Doral Academy, we feel like we use a lot of paper and we throw it away, we don't recycle it. So it's a great opportunity to recycle all that paper and really you know, benefit the environment. To put it into perspective, our school alone has been able to recycle over 6,400 pounds of paper in the span of two months and use 320,000 biodegradable trays thanks to her program. Signing off from Firebird TV, I'm Naomi Bedencourt reporting. And now for your daily announcements. Firebirds, there will be a robotics club meeting for high school students only at 2.15 p.m. in Mr. Santa Cruz's Zoom. This Friday, there will be an informational meeting for the National Art Honor Society at 2.45 in Mr. Pita's Zoom. Next Wednesday, September 9th, there will be an informational key club meeting. Make sure to check out our social media or school website to find out the right Zoom information. There will be an FBLA meeting for any students who show interest in the club on September 10th at 1 p.m. in Mrs. Garcia's Zoom. Don't forget, there will be a National History Honor Society meeting September 10th at 2.30 in Ms. Cycle's room. Good news, Firebirds. GPAs will be recalculating in mid-September. This will include AP scores and Doral College courses. Seniors, your first 25 community service hours are due in December. Remember, this is a graduation requirement. That's all for today, Firebirds. I'm Jack Mendez. And I'm Marcelo Villarojito. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media at Firebird TV to keep up with everything happening this school year. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day.